have all been in that place, in that same state of mind, feeling trapped and alone, hoping for someone, anyone, to just appear and restore our peace of mind. But for Ellie Trevitt, hope is lost. She is the last person on earth. There is no one. For exactly 16 hours a day, she sits by herself, listening to the clock. Even as she sleeps, she studies the clock. Tick-tock, tick-tock. It is the last piece of order in her world. The one last bit of hope. Maybe it is what keeps her sane, or maybe it is her sanity. But nonetheless, it is a clock. In fact, it is the last clock. Sometimes Allie wonders what will happen if it stops. Will her world stop? Will time stop? Not that time matters anyway, in a world in which you have no control. Or does it? Many times, she has pondered the death of her clock, and almost stopped it herself, out of curiosity, but decided that it would be wrong to kill her only remaining friend. Ellie remembers the days when clocks didn't matter, when her best friend was an actual person. Oh yes, Ellie had lots of friends in those days. Ellie misses those days. They would laugh, gossip, and just goof around like any group of teenagers would. It's too bad they're gone, every last one of them. Tick tock, tick tock, 21 seconds. In 21 seconds, it will be 11 o'clock. Not 11 o'clock in the morning. It can't be. Wasn't that 12 hours ago? Not that there's a way to tell. This empty room has no windows. And sure, there's a door, but Allie lost it. Not that it matters. After all, she is the last one. It is 11 o'clock. Ellie remembers that this is the time Swamp People used to come on. Ellie and her father used to sit and watch it together. They would share popcorn and talk about their day during the commercials. It was fun for Ellie. She misses her father. She misses everything about him. His laugh, his voice, his blonde hair. Or was it brown? Maybe red? No, he was definitely bald. Wasn't he? Well, he was definitely tall. Ellie remembers having to look up at him every time they talked. What would he say now? Ellie, stop staring at the clock. Go and live your life. But, I'm alone. Alone. The word itself makes Ellie feel cold. Cold and tired. Tired and sad. Sad and lost. Live your life. Stop staring at a clock. Ha. Huh. He doesn't understand. He wouldn't understand. No one would. It is not because there's too much to understand. Ellie believes it's quite the contrary. But it's because there's nothing to understand. Understanding nothing is nearly impossible for the average person to understand. And that's where her father falls. Average. Ellie is not average. At least, not anymore. Silence. Every day, there is dead silence. It is only every second that a sound is made. Between those mere ticks and tocks is nothing. It is during these long pauses that Ellie wonders if she will ever hear a sound again. If the clock doesn't tick, who's to say that sound even exists? Ellie knows that if she yells, no one will hear it. And so, it is the century-old question, if a tree falls in the forest, will it make a sound? Ellie doesn't think so. She feels that without her clocks ticking, it will no longer be alive. It will simply blend into her world's nothingness. And so will she. Not that it matters. She is the last one.